Lighting up the city with live comedy, plays, music, dance, art, film, and more. It's the Hamilton Fringe Festival. Christopher Stanton is here. Welcome. Hi. How are you, Val? I'm so good. This is uh, an exciting thing to, to come to Hamilton. Mm -hmm. People don't understand how big the fringe is. Or do they? Maybe they do. Well, it's no, it's a funny thing. It's uh, if you know the fringe, you love it. You know what I mean? Like uh, there's there's going to be people watching that are that are, you know, like, oh, the fringe, it's back. Yay. But there's lots of people who hear this and don't really know what the fringe is. It's been around for like as a movement. It's been around for for years well, since the 40s. I'm going to read right from this program. Just go what ahead, is yeah. the fringe? Yeah, is the city's biggest, boldest 12 day mm -hmm. arts festival like up spaces across town with all the things that I mentioned. Here's the other thing that you've got written right here. <laughs> it's very helpful. <laughs> we don't pick the shows, you say. Why not? Oh, well, that, I mean, that's part of the fringe movement. So, so yeah, so in the 80s when uh, when the folks in Edmonton actually were the, the first people to adopt the fringe uh, festival model, there's a bunch of sort of uh, guidelines that they have in terms of like what makes a fringe festival. One of the things is we don't pick the shows. They're un, it's uncurated. So you either put your name into a lottery to get chosen or it's uh, uh, first come first serve which means anybody can do it because you put your heart and soul into this project yep. you're going to be picked or not going to be picked not because of some, some gatekeeper some right. yeah some artistic director some you got it yeah it's it, you fairer can be, it, absolutely it levels the playing field you get people in here that are just fresh out of school you get people that have been doing this for years that want to do something that's a little more edgy a little more uh, um, uh, experimental uh, and you get like Tax lawyers who've had a play in their their nightstand for years and years that are like, you know what, I'm going to do this. This is the year. Yeah, yeah. It levels the playing field. It's and a great you idea. buys your tickets, you takes your chances. You do. And but the, what is true for every single show is the passion yeah. and the love and the drive to be creative. Absolutely. And it's a it's a slate this year of 50 plus shows that that as you say, you know, the the range from from comedy to to, to improv to drama to all of these different things magic shows there's a ton of magic shows this year uh, folks like it's it's a lot of Hamilton talent like you would be surprised at how much local talent there is I'm that not just comes surprised. out of the woodwork every year for this it's fantastic people have gone on to become great stars oh, who absolutely. are from Hamilton there's something there's something about growing up here that um, uh, well sometimes you need humor to, the, yeah. to get through life <laughs> <laughs> it's true yeah 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 here's the other thing it says we don't take a cut of the ticket sales correct so 100% of uh, like tickets are 14 bucks. Uh, 100 percent of that 14 bucks goes directly back to the artist. So uh, uh, Hamilton Fringe Festival does not take a cut of that uh, of that ticket price. How do you afford these fancy uh, T-shirts? Well, that's a funny thing you should ask. If you want to go to hftco.ca. Uh, check out the 50-50. Uh, uh, you could buy some tickets. Uh, and that's the kind of thing that helps us out. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, no, it, we rely on like uh, donors and uh, government funders and sponsors uh, more than most arts organizations because, I mean, like it's a great model in terms of making sure that it's affordable and that you can uh, do a fringe festival and end up as an artist uh, getting some money in your pocket on the way out. It's a lousy model in uh, a capitalist society <laughs> <laughs> to give all of the money away. <laughs> but the artists need it and love it. Well, that's it. That's the that's it. the thing, and that's yeah. That's how you build a community. Um, so, depending on when this show airs, yeah, you it might be post festival because the, right. the dates are July seventeenth to uh, yeah, July seventeenth to the twenty eighth. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we'll talk about where to get tickets in a second. Great. But good. if it's if this is being aired post uh, festival, yeah. You guys are in recovery mode, is that right? That's right. Yeah, we do. We we enter a, a medically induced coma. <laughs> the entire team does in August. Uh, but you know, like uh, uh, two things. I think it's important for uh, those of you who did see the festival, if you're seeing this in August, uh, to congratulate yourselves and and think about, oh great, I've 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 supported independent theater. I saw some great stuff for cheap uh, uh, or free. There's lots of free programming outside. And for those of you who are filled with regret, <laughs> don't make this mistake next year. That's right. That's Go right. to the Fringe Festival. Because it's going to be just as good next year. That's exactly right. But there's other 
stuff running too, Absolutely, right? You've got yeah. lots of programs. Let's so, talk about yeah, those. So, so HFD Co. isn't just the, the Fringe Festival. We've got other stuff happening. Um, uh, so uh, November, we're going to have a symposium. Uh, so keep your eyes open for that. In November, we're having a symposium for, uh, it's called Stage Directions. And it's where we sort of go to the community and say, hey, uh, what is the state of theater in uh, Hamilton right now? How can we make it better? How can we support each other to, uh, to create a more sustainable uh, theater scene here in Hamilton? Um, uh, and that's happening in November. And then in uh, February, we do our Frostbites Festival. So keep an eyeball open for that. Uh, Frostbites is, uh, it's like a family-focused uh, festival uh, centered around uh, Bernard Morelli. Um, Ber Bernard Morelli? Bernie Morelli. Bernie Morelli, the, uh, the uh, uh, community center. And we do sort of lantern building workshops and there's a bunch of uh, arts and crafts workshops, a bunch of indigenous programming, storytelling with our partners, uh, uh, Telling Tales and Saint Francophone. Uh, so that happens in, yeah, in, in February, and it ends with a procession of light around the neighborhood, which is cool. always a really fun move, yeah. How many artists would you say get involved with, the, with Hamilton Fringe? Oh, wow, yeah, it's, uh, every year we sort of, uh, th that number has been clicking up, it's fantastic. So I think last year we had something like 323 artists that were paid because of the Hamilton Fringe Festival. Like it really is, it, it, and it really is a, like a, a beautiful kind of weird little community. Like if, 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 if you're watching this and you're thinking like, oh, they're saying theater over and over again, and I know theater, it's mm -hmm. like an old guy with a, a frilly <laughs> sleeve looking at a skull, like it's not for me. <laughs> this is for you. Like the fringe is an anti-elitist kind of movement. And the venues are anywhere. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like literally anywhere. Yeah, yeah. There, we got uh, uh, the Players Guild of Hamilton, Theater Aquarius, Mills Hardware. Sometimes uh, the sidewalk. Yeah. That's it, oh, that's true. Well, this year, it's fantastic actually that you mentioned that. We've got some called Fringe on the Streets this year. It's a free initiative and it's like it's a it's a walking tour from Ferguson Station all the way down uh, uh, King to James Street uh, where there's six different uh, performances all along the way and you do this walking tour you can hop on hop off grab a coffee and come back you know it's it's a it's a great thing we're trying it uh, trotting it out this year for the first time. Love it. Where yeah. do we go to get more info on this year's show? Excellent. Yeah, well, uh, you want to go to hftco.ca, that's Hamilton Festival Theatre Company.ca, so hftco.ca, and uh, just click on the events button and you can browse through uh, all of the shows on offer for this year's Fringe and uh, buy your tickets. And then, if we want more information uh, just in general on what the Fringe is all about and how we can get involved, can we get involved if we're not a performer? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, like there are so many ways to engage with the, the festival. Come down to the Fringe Club uh, at uh, Theatre Aquarius. Uh, there's going to be, like, there's a little bar and a cafe set up. Vintage Coffee is doing a pop-up uh, cafe there during the daytimes. Uh, free programming there. Uh, there's uh, lots of workshops that we offer, like, throughout the year. That's going to be something to, to keep an eyeball open Go for. Go to the same website for those in. All that. the same website. You got it. Yeah. Thank yeah, yeah, you yeah. so much, Chris. Thanks, Val. Good to see you. Have a great you summer. Too. Thank you. Uh, after the break, it's Super Crawl time again. Tim Potasik will be here to tell us more about this year's edition. Stay tuned.